team here with Uber Dog Training. We have Marvel with us. Marvel just came from the farm yesterday, and so we're working with him. Um, some key things to point out when you first bring your puppy home. One is attach a leash. We've got this leash attached to Marvel. It's getting him used to having that around his neck. Um, a leash is very stressful for dogs and for puppies. Um, and so it's important to attach that even if you're not holding it, just so he gets used to having that around his neck. Number two is make sure and control his space. Um, if you're not actively working with him, we control his space by putting him in a crate in our house if he's not being worked or tethering him to an object that's near us so that he only has that six foot distance to roam. So one more thing on controlling your dog's space that we wanted to mention was um, feeding. We want to feed Marvel or your puppy in their crate if that's where you're going to be putting them. This gets them used to their crate, excited about going into their crate, and it uses it not as a negative. We don't want to put him in his crate if he's being bad. We want to use that as a positive place that he feels comfortable and secure. Um, so feeding them in their crate is going to build that bond basically with them in their crate and know that it's a good place for them to be. One other thing is getting your dog used to different textures. We're gonna use these place boards today to get him used to different textures. He's been on them quite a bit and so he's pretty used to them. You don't wanna introduce um, the commands straight away. We're going to want to just do the action. Don't introduce the commands for another day or um, for another week or so to just get him used to that. So we're gonna use this place. I'm just gonna call him Marvel. Yes! Getting him on different places boosts their confidence. You want to be sure and give your treats always within your body so that they associate the treats with you and not a bush, grass, um, or the car or anything like that. So we have Marvel. He needs to have a release command. It's going to be free. Yeah! It's important to have a release command for your dog so that they know when they are able to stop doing that um, behavior that they were doing. Good. Yes. Good. So we're just going to use marker words. Good and nope. Good is any action he's doing that we want him to do. Nope is anything that we do not want him to do. Good boy, yeah, free, yeah! Really emphasize that free so that they know that's a great thing. They get to do whatever they want. Good, yes! So it's important to keep your training short, have fun with your training, and stay tuned for more videos with Marvel. Good dog, good life.